What's up, you guys? Welcome to another episode of the Dank and Paint Show. I'm your host, Wiley, and listen, today we have an awesome, awesome, awesome day of painting, you guys. Listen, first of all, it is a Wu-Tang Paint Day, one of my favorite hip-hop groups, one of my favorite groups, period, in general. Um, we're going to work on the Wu-Tang W, one of the staple logos in hip-hop. I mean, if you don't know to the Wu-Tang label, I don't know what to tell you. So, we're going to be painting that today. Also, we are sitting down and having a one-on-one -on -one paint interview with one of the Crusaders, one of the Pathfinders of the DC Cannabis community. My good man, One Deuce, from Southeast Ratchet Cakes and Blunt Facts Quiz Show. Oh, yeah, it's gonna be a super excited show. But first, we're gonna get started with that good old outline for the Wu-Tang W. Now, listen, it wouldn't be the Dank and Paint show if it wasn't sponsored by our bud of the day. And listen, we gonna be doing some art. So, our strain of the day is no other than the Dank and Paint Stank, baby. The Dank and Paint Stank is a creative sativa it is known to get those juices flowing, those creative juices flowing, it pops ideas out. It's a stinky, smelly sativa. You'll love it. Um, if you're in the DC area, ask around, check out one of the dispensaries, see who has it. If you're in the California area, check around, ask out uh, about those, uh, that dang and paint stink at uh, any of the local dispensaries. All right, cool. With no further ado, we're gonna get right into this thing. We're gonna start with that Wu-Tang W, y'all. We're gonna pay a couple bills, get that outline going, and we'll be right back. Your main man, Wiley, here with Dank and Paint. Peace. Welcome to Dank and Paint Live. It's your main man, Wiley here. Hey, I got a special treat for y'all. I got one of the motherfucking crusaders, pathfinders in this cannabis community. Shit, man. That's one of the first people I've been. I've been in the, I've been in the industry low-key with my Sammy Davis tap dancing junior shoes on. Not growing, but this is one of the guys that's had his hands in everything. He really understands the marketing value of what's going on here. He understands uh, the rights that one should have in this industry. So, join us today. Oh, yes, it is a Wu-Tang paint day too, and he's also an ultimate Wu-Tang fan, so we can really get busy with it. Um, with no further ado, one deuce from Southeast Ratchet Cakes. Everybody give him a hand. What's up? We got to, it was a gang of motherfuckers in here earlier. <laughs> yeah, yeah. My man, one deuce. Oh, I forgot to introduce fucking Blunt Facts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Best Blunt damn Facts. quiz show out. So, Shout how you going today, man? Man, good, man. Chilling, chilling. Happy to be here. Man, hey, I remember the first time I saw when you did start at the Dank and Paint, the whole look and everything, man. I was just like, this is dope. Yeah. Because, I mean, I like, that. the create, just being creative, man. I'm a, like one of those aesthetically. Yeah. Pleasing type person. Yeah, yeah. I see something, I like it. Yeah. This why he home run, man. I appreciate it. Thank you for having me on here today. Yeah. So listen, man, we're gonna get this thing popping. So you already know we got the usual suspects in the building. We have the ultimate, my wonderful good friend, Miss Heather, with Tranquility by Heather. She's gonna be talking more about that good muscle, deep muscle tissue and cannabis. THC and CBD infused massage therapy. She's also gonna hook my good man one deuce up with a good, nice, what is it? Is it deep tissue or no? Oh, yes, deep tissue. So we're gonna get him over there in that massage table and she's gonna talk to us a little bit about um, recovering. Would you say recover or pain relief? Pain relief. Listen, man, Dank and Paint is the only place you can go, get high, paint, get a motherfucking health class. And listen to some dope ass music. This therapy. You feel me? This oh, therapy. Yes. Therapy. I'm telling you, man. We got a good vibes. Oh, yeah. Danielle, right? What's the name of y'all uh brand again? Uh, it's Princess P. Princess P is in the building. Um they Princess, they Princess, do not know, but we already bring them all the motherfucking biz today. So listen, we're gonna come back, um, get this uh table started. Me and the brother one deuce here, we're gonna talk about the Wu-Tang, we're gonna talk about cannabis laws, we're gonna talk about being black in the cannabis industry, being a minority in the cannabis industry, um, how we're gonna turn 
turning a vending table into a big piece of the billion dollar industry. Because everybody's involved, man. Don't let Walmart and all them other good people take advantage and take all the credit. All right, we'll be back in a flash, y'all. Be back. All right, gang, we're going to start this off with that good outline. So, generally, I've been doing this Wu-Tang outline thing for so long, doodling in sketchbooks and things like that throughout the years, being that that is one of my favorite groups. So, it's pretty natural to me to do this. So, I generally just start, always I do my sketches starting from the bottom up. And if you need a reference, I mean, you can Google the Wu-Tang W. It's pretty easy. It's Slowly start your line. We're going up. Just basically getting those W's, making sure you get those edges nice and sharp. All right, we got that outline out the way. Let's go on over to Listen Vision Studios and get into that interview with my good man, One Deuce from Southeast Ratchet Cakes and Blunt Facts. <laughs> I got my man Deuce in the building. One Deuce, Blood Fact, Southeast Ratchet Cakes in the building. And we get ready for a campaign. First of all, we get ready to chat. And we chat in hip hop because that's one of the nucleus of the Dan Campaign Show. It's hip hop. Hip hop. We here, you already know, it's the Wu Tang Paint Session. I'm going to okay. start this shit off with the obvious. Yeah. Who is your favorite member? It go back and forth. Kind of like me. Yeah, Kinda it go, like cause that, that's a hard way. I, I mean, like, I, I tell you I'm what, a, I'm an ODB you, straight fan. Okay, oh, straight all, ODB. I, first of all, fuck it, I need a high five. We in the high school right now. ODB, that's 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 my favorite. ODB. I struggle between ODB and Ghost. All right, all right. You ODB and Ghost. I go between ODB and Jizza. Now, how is it that I'm going to come to your show and blunt fact you? Yeah. Come on now. All right, you say Jizza? Jizza. I, 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 like early on, because I wasn't like a, 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 what would you say, like a fanatic type fan, know all the history, know everything. I love just music. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, Jizza, Liquid Swords. Yes, sir. We be running from the cops, busting off shots. When I heard Should that shit, on the block? Man. I was like, Man, this dude talking, and I didn't understand, like you said, when they talk about the math, the, the, the mm -hmm. five percenters, I really, I really didn't have a concept at that time about, you know, all that, what was going on and everything. But the, just what they was talking about, man, the way they was kicking it, and the whole production, man, Riz always does man. his thing, and whoever else they deal with, so... Yeah, yeah, I Getting think back to Liquid Soul, yeah. I'm gonna tell you because that was one of my that's one of my favorite uh, Rizzo produced speaks. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna tell you why. It just I felt like it was a cold night. Nigga had an Eddie bed coat on and a deuce deuce, and you had like two krills left in your pocket, and that was all that was in your walk, man. Hey, you and you gotta hurt. You ain't got nothing but a hot dog and a half a pack of ramen. History. That's just yeah, all. I, that's just what I got from that fucking. The, the, just it's the way the, you hey listen, I don't know if y'all fuck with that shit, but listen to the joint and the and the way the, the snow come in. That shit is killing. And that's uh, what it was, man. It it, it when I'm they give you this one, doing music. This is what we painted that. I don't mean to cut y'all off. You probably can't see we, we gonna, When we hit the lot the studio version, you'll see. We paint that woo W. So I'm gonna you take this one. This is all thank you, thank yours. you. you all you gonna do is paint, brother. So listen. These Wu Tang questions are pretty hard because okay. you know it's it, it's a lot of uh, levels to it. So yeah, I'm gonna yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go like I'm gonna, I'm, we gonna start it like this. Where were you when you said? What was your vibe? Where were you when you said? Oh shit! What the fuck is this that I'm listening to? Two part question. Can I hit that with you? Yeah yeah. yeah. There, you <laughs> go, there you go. I think man maybe I say I got. I got hip to Wu Tang, what, maybe around 93, 94, maybe, when I really got hip. So I was 13, 14, around that age. 
maybe a little early 91, somewhere in the 90s, early 90s, I say. It was, like I said, it was a different sound because I went from listening to all the New York stuff, the safe rap when I was younger, Beastie Boys, LL Cool J, Rock Him, all that stuff. Um, then my brother, he was in the service. So around the 90s, was Desert Storm and all that stuff. He was coming back and forth Different from California. Yeah. So I got introduced to that West Coast mm. music. Now mm. that shit turned me out. And then, like you said, to come back and start hearing Wu come on the scene, or me first hearing Wu around that same period in that same time, I think it was kind of equivalent to that. It was new. Yeah, it was just it so was a new sound. Different. It was like the rebirth hey. of the East. It, it put you in. It was the first almost, I could say, mood music that yeah. wasn't like just so preachy, you know, summertime or trying to give you a, a vibe that that was that was that was authentic you know it right, put you right, his right. them sounds like you said the the snow and the crackling the shower land i was big on watching the kung fu flicks right, right. come on channel five yeah in that the was evening the shit. time channel 20 channel yeah, five channel 20 man, all that business. type of shit yes, yeah sir. channel 20 at that time so it was stuff like that that i think like you said it was it was something that put you in a period and put you in a time and you was like I liked to going outside playing ninja. Right, right. When I was, was young, shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go outside in the woods. And that was when the, when you could go to the <laughs> store and, and, and all the toys was real looking and shit. You know, what Man, you get ninja sets and the shit be real ass ninja stars. <laughs> so yeah, I, I guess it was that. It was fun, but it was more of like you said, it was that different type of fun, something new. Yeah. So listen, you in the art any? I drew a little bit when I was younger. Like to draw, draw, doodle a little bit reason why I ask because obviously you here and oh I apologize shout out to my good man boom DJ boom in the building oh the reason why I'm asking is you can ready paint today and real quick for my folks at home we can ready paint this Wu-Tang W and it's simple it's a simple thing but it's very relaxing to paint simple things so what we did simple I mean I've been doing this Wu-Tang again I'm a fan so I've been doing this thing for so long I don't even have to look at it anymore but, I mean, keep it basic and simple, and you can revert back to the studio version when it comes out. You simply start all, again, always start all of my lines going. Because I got a, twi a fidgety hand, mm -hmm. and if you go down, your shit will be all fucked up. Yeah, so like, yeah. This is a tattoo trick as well. You just always start going up. And this is basic. Go up, curve, make sure your lines is straight as possible. And again, you guys will see that shit. But me and me and my man Deuce, we about to paint. I got one more question for you, brother. And then look, the W, W is is a W, but also a bird type like uh, image. Yeah. Also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know that. Yep. Because what uh, the Shaolin was big on like the swans and the different mm. you know birds and stuff that, like that. I didn't so if you know. look. I, I always thought about. I don't know if it ever came out. You know, this me now just. You know, like I say, always looked at that W though. Like when you when you look at it, yeah. that's what it always reminded me of. Was like the swans, and always thought about, like you said, the the uh, uh, the arts, the martial arts, and yeah. stuff like that connected and to the birds and, again, and the I'm elegance of I the never birds. ever ever thought about that. That's, really hey. dope. that's dope. Let's talk about weed, because you're one of the gurus about this shit. Very first time you smoked the blunt. Tell me. Um, let me see, because it got snitched on. It was like 15 or 16. Maybe like, I say like 15, 16. I got uh, my my uh, neighbor. He saw, he caught me in the hallway. He didn't actually see me smoking, but he saw me around the little guys who smoked at that time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And we was know. in the hall. But I, I guess I was bombed the fuck out my head. So go ahead, take that. Take that. Dip that right there, Pauls. Now what you're gonna do, this is your liner brush. You're gonna take your thumb, right? Make sure it's nice, it's not a wet, but it's pointy, all right? And we're gonna start off with this lighter yellow, all right? So all my folks at home, watch. I'm giving my good man one deuce of paint lesson right here, y'all, understand it. So you're gonna just go ahead and take a little dabble in this lighter yellow here. Take that and just trace the W right now. And again, you, you can go down if you like. Again, I choose to go up. Now go ahead, get back to the story, my bad. Started smoking weed. Very first time you started smoking weed. All right, all right. Uh, like I said, the neighbor, 
the neighbor, I guess, he thought it was a a good idea to keep out and catch us in the hallway smoking, you know? <laughs> and look, just to think about this, that I ain't going to judge this man or that, but he was smoking crack. Oh, you shit. You know what I'm saying? This dude, like, literally, I knew. Hell yeah, I know smoking that yeah, tweed. Yeah, he, he comes out, but I think that's what it was. It was like one of them things where he was like, oh, I got something. So he needed some brownie points. I woke up the next day, like I said, he saw me in the hallway the, uh, the day before. I woke up the next day to see this man in the living room talking to my mom and my pops. Oh, shit. I'm looking. I'm like, man, what is this man? I think he over here begging for something. When actually he was, he was setting up the long hustle. He was setting up the long, he was setting up the long hustle. The long hustle. <laughs> he was like, hey, uh, you know, as soon as he left out the door, I come in, he, he leaves out. Mom and dad look at me. I'm looking at them. And, they, you know, they ask you the question, oh, what is this? He telling me this? And I'm just like, oh, you know, as a child, well, 16 at that time, teenager. I'm like, man, I don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> you know? Keep the lie, 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 lie. lie. I don't know what this guy's talking about, man. You know, well, he's a druggie. So why do we <laughs> believe it? Yeah, he's a druggie. <laughs> we don't believe. You taught me. We don't believe those type of people. Right, right. But all in all, that's what it was, man. It was a hell of an experience. Got I had a theory too. here, man. So you, 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 were, you were a teen of the 90s, right? I had a theory here. I think that the Chronic album saved the generation from cokeheads. Oh, that what do you feel about that? Yeah, I could say that. because Hip-hop hats in general? Yeah, man. It was... It was like you said, that whole era was the guys who were, you were either the prey or the victim. Mm -hmm. So at that time, it was kind of easy to become the victim. But I guess, like you said, seeing those, th that generation, our generation, I think understood, man. It was a lot before us. You know, we had the dope era that came mm -hmm. before us. And we saw that and lesson. And then the crack well, most era of us hit did. like that cocaine and everything else. So it was one of those things. I think it became one of those things where we where we really put it in our head where we wasn't going to really get involved. And like you said, I was like the chronic. Right. You know what I'm saying? Bad as it was, they disgraced crackheads and yeah. everybody else. But it was, it was with the message, like you said, people needed that message at that time because mm -hmm. whatever was presented to people, it wasn't what they was telling us. So it was a lot of people that fell victim. Hey, listen. That's why I said, man, that was the savior. That album, it because listen, we was on the we was on the line. Everything was coke, crack, coke, crack, coke, crack. And I believe I say Red Man too. I say Red Man. I say Red Man bought it in for the East. He's yeah. like, yo, y'all niggas got to chill, smoke some of this mm -hmm. weed too. Um, well, all right. So listen, y'all, we can ready to go to a quick break. Real quick break. We coming back with my good man One Deuce. And we come back. We are talking about. Minorities in the cannabis industry. What are we gonna do to stay relevant? And what are we gonna do to stay focused? All right, y'all, we be back in a high second. Hey. All right, let's jump right on into this base coat. Now we're gonna start with this base coat. So we're gonna use a nice bright yellow. Um, and I know it just says a medium yellow on here, but I, this is pretty bright and I like to uh, use a nice thick, really, really thick layer for the base coat. Because on our base coat, what we wanna do is we wanna make sure that our lines, I mean our paint is nice and evenly distrib distributed between this uh, canvas. We don't really want any lumps and clumps because we'll be doing an outline and we don't want to have the outline all lumpy. So you want to make sure you have a nice brush, you know, with nice uh, bristles that won't crack off and peel off into your paint. And just go down, start down with nice even strokes. Try your best to stay in between those lines, okay? Because you will be making sure you're adding other things to it, like a deep outline. So you don't want to go too far off going outside of the lines with your first base coat. Cool? All 
All right, guys, remember, if you don't feel like hearing my voice, you can always roll your J's up and listen to those great sounds in the background. All right. Starting from the top and you're going down, remember, you are probably a couple of times you want to go and hit that same area again just to make sure you're se separating and spreading that paint. You don't want any clumps, all right? So make sure you go down, smooth it out, go back down again, smooth it out, go back down again, and smooth it out. All right, gang, with that said, we're going to jump right back to Listen Vision Studios and get back into that interview with my good man, One Deuce from Southeast Ratchet Cakes. All right, y'all, when we come back, we're going to get into some accent spray paint. Peace. Shout out the dispensaries, a uh, kind of bliss. Black owned dispensary over in Northeast DC, Ward 7. Uh, he representing, man, representing for the people, man. He's putting this up a, a fucking fire. Urgent care facility for the people and some oh, other yeah? stuff. Yeah. Real quick, I wasn't yeah. speaking into the microphone. I was ask, I was asking my good man, one deuce, what the hell I was smoking because this is some damn fire. And plug that, plug that dispensary in again, please. That's the called uh, Live Can of Bliss. Live Can of Bliss. Yep, over there on Surf Road, Ward 7, man. Like you said, man, just a dope place. The dude got a lot of um, a lot of stuff, man. He trying to give back to the community, man. He trying to put an urgent care uh, facility over there. He's also trying to do um, on-site consumption spot once, you know, the laws change a little bit for that. Oh, so you can just so, go ahead and fire up right, right yeah, there. Fire because it a lot up of right people, there on board. Yep. Yeah. And this goes back to, like you said, I-71. With this I-71 rule, it hinders a lot of people also. So with I-71, a lot of people um, in federal housing can't mm. consume in their own house. So it's a lot, man. Wow. So, damn, you got to go down the street, smoke your damn weed. Yeah, which is also like sort of um, illegal. Wow. You know, Don't it's you the tell same them not thing. To do that? It's, it's, it's they, yeah, because you can't smoke outside, but at the same time, oh, like not a good people. They can come in. My yeah, bad. I mean, they can come, come in, in. Come in. They can come in. They can just gotta go around. Don't come in front of the camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You go grab them. Tell them come in. Enjoy. We partake. My bad, brother. Sorry about that. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, that's the. That's the, the 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 bad part about it that it does hinder some of our city residents. The life, and it seems like it hinders more of the lifelong city residents. So, you know? any is there any IG uh, pages that folks can go to, you know, or shit, shit, vote on? What what what, what can we do? Um, I know me, man. I look and and look. This is one of the things I want to say real quick. All this stuff uh, started and it's new to me. And it started as, um, you know what I'm saying? Like you said, I would think I was always kind of that rebellious type, always that fighting type. Mm -hmm. So once this became kind of legal, as we saw, I found something more to fight because it was a lot of, like you said, a lot of cutouts and a lot of stuff there that they weren't trying to have us involved right, in. Right, right, right. So um, you could go, what I started doing was getting the information from some of the people now, who knew the information. Stuff, as far as like things that they we could not be involved in, like as far as what? 
like grants, loans, things like that to open um, up sh- uh, dispensaries? Right now, we haven't gotten to a, a recreational market, a, a, a regulated market where it's getting taxed. But I'm pretty much sure that is up next because as we see going across the country, most markets, it's a it's a cost. It's a barrier. Yeah, they call yeah. it a buy-in barrier, whether it's a high license fee or whether you're a felon. You're a felon. You, you can't be involved. So it's a lot of different barriers there that that uh, hinders people um, from being involved. And um, like you said, one of the barriers uh, became um, that I've started fighting for was my workplace. Uh, oh yeah, I saw that on your IG. Hey. Matter of fact, go follow a dank look on the city. A dank look on the city on IG. My bad. Go yep. ahead. And that's where you go. Yep, like you said, one of the places you can follow me because I always constantly post, and I might not post a full story, so I'm posting you something just so you can lead you there and go now, find the information whole yourself. Story trip me the fuck out. Get the people at home briefly. Don't forget to talk yeah. to the mic because I need everybody to get every fucking detail of this. Briefly give that story real quick of what happened with that situation. Okay, um, like we said, right here in Doing D.C. A good fucking job, matter We fact. could um, smoke cannabis here in D.C. Um, and there was no problem other than, you know, you have your job situation, which most of us have a regular nine-to-five job or, you know, a conventional job. There was nothing written in for most jobs in the city that was saying, okay, Cannabis, you're deeming it safe for the public. But on one hand, you're saying a person still can't, whether you're medicating or whether you're using it recreational, you can't smoke cannabis. Um, from there, I've, I've uh, found some information in my uh, department's personnel manual. I work for the city government. Um, I got a low position at the city government. You know, I'm, I just clean up the streets basically out here. Not doing nothing real hard, nothing that's... You know, a whole lot. Um, but I found the information that said we could possibly medicate, which I am a medical card holder also. It said we could medicate, but it was under the discretion of each department in the district of government. District uh, government. Um, long story short, they didn't, uh, the some of the lower tier grade uh, jobs, they didn't want us medicating. It was mostly the office jobs and different stuff like that. So the ACLU got involved. And once the ACLU got involved on my behalf, uh, they started negotiating with me. Um, They offered me a job. I had to kind of fit in and take this as a negotiation right now. I mean, take the job in the negotiations and then move forward from here within the job. Um, they moved me to a job. I'm making less money. I've been off of work for six months now, and they're saying no back pay, which I'm That's gonna pr- have to. Yeah. All right, party people, we are back and we're about to drop that accent yellow on top of this bright yellow. Now we're going to drop that accent yellow. It's going to kind of pop it out a little bit. And this is sort of a gold. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab us a nice thick layer for our brush. And we're going to hit those top edges. Nice thick layers. And just drizzle it. I like to say drizzle it, you know, because you just get in the top of the W. Sort of kind of like frost or snow on the mountaintop, something like that. You know what I mean? You want to make sure you get the edges. Now bring it down to about a quarter way down the W on each side. And then once you want to hit the middle, when you get to the middle, you probably want to hit that just a little hint a little bit, you know. Make sure you're smoothing out those edges. You don't want to have any clumps there because you're going to add a, that outline too. So make sure you get those nice smooth strokes and just hit that top a little bit. You might want to get down in the bottom a little bit and just take one or two strokes and go further down than the normal. All right, folks, and again, man, turn the music up. Hit that J and go ahead and paint.
And we back. It's Thank Your Pain, baby. Shemaine Man Wiles. I got my homegirl, Heather, with Tranquility. With, I keep getting it. Every time I fucking smoke. Tran, 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 tran. Yeah, my girl, listen, so. Talk to us today, baby, what we got going on. We, do, we, 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 we in health class today. This is the cannabis infused health class. Talk to me. Hold on real quick. We got to get your mic ready. I should just... That's what I should I'm trying to roll some weed. How about this? Can you roll weed one deuce and... Mm. Let's roll us some weed. Let's make this a motherfucking affair. <clears throat> All right. Fuck this shit. I'm high now. man. I don't know where the fuck I want to stay. Put your phone on uh, or vibrate, man. Listen, we high already. We already know that 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 fire has been kicking in. So, okay, we're back to it. Tran 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 All right, okay, here we go. What are we on it? Okay, here we go. Now, what are we doing to my good man One Deuce right now? Um, basically, I'm breaking up all the fascia which is stuck, and. Fascia, of- what is that? That sounds like a ghetto name. Okay, so fascia is, it covers everything in your body. It covers all your systems, all your Talking to the muscles, mic. everything like that. Um, and it kind of like saran wrap, so it gets stuck. Oh. And in those fibers, trigger points form as well, which cause pain. So what I specialize is getting rid of everything and breaking everything up and making the muscles soft and pliable again as they should be. And that's what you're doing right now? That is what I'm doing right now. How does that feel, sir? Feels very good. I'm, um, like I said, I got a, a pretty bad back, but it's, it, it was hurting like when she was digging in, but now, like you said, it's starting to really feel I'm good. Really, the broke, it broke break, it break, break, break it up. You like, broke it up. Immediate results. Break it up. Y'all get off my life. Immediate results. So you are you using the THC? Um, yes, I am. Lotion? That also helps with pain relief and the relaxing of the muscles. So, th- th- that's right. I asked you this last time. It works immediately, right? Yeah. Yes, most definitely. So. And CBD. What, okay. What, what, where, where was your pain that you said before you started this? Um, I'll say maybe seven, eight. Seven, um, eight? Where you? Where are we right now? We are like two minutes into it. Uh, I'm sitting down in like a five right now. Real good shit. Feel this. You feel this like I said. I'm gonna put a hole in that bed now. Now, this is um, is this a recovery? More so a recovery type a uh, type of massage that you're giving him right now? Um, yeah. Um. Well, I mean, this stuff comes from stuff you do every day, whether you work out, the way you sit, the way you eat, the way you, eat, the way you sit at your desk, um, the way you sleep. It comes from everything that you do every day. So, I mean, you can't stop what you do every day. You just got self-care. All right, welcome back, you guys. Hey, let's just get into some fun stuff. All right, so listen, one of the elements of hip-hop is graffiti art. And, you know, graffiti art is pretty much spray paint art. But what we're going to do to try to get a a spray paint art effect today is we're going to use some water-based acrylic. And right here we have a yellow water-based acrylic. I just put some uh, water-based acrylic in a water bottle, shook it up. And we're going to hit these corners here, the edges. On the top, we're going to get a nice thicker layer so we can get that drip. Tilt our canvas a little bit so we can kind of speed that dripping effect up some. And again, for time's sake, we are um, just going to use our dark paintbrush pen to work around our outlines. I know we should wait for it to dry, but again, we're working on time, so we're going to do it that way. Cool. All right, so what we want to do with our outline, we want to do a nice thick outline, so we're going to use this black paintbrush pen 
and the effect we want to get is if we just smush the Wu-Tang W on some oil or some black spray paint or something like that or black paint and it's oozing from under the W so we want to kind of get that effect and how we're going to do that we're just going to make some bubbles and just little splats here and there just to kind of make it look like it's been oozing out from under but um, again we're working on some paint that's not fully dry so you know kind of be cautious of you smearing but don't trip off of it too much you know what I mean just get your napkin or something and wipe the paintbrush off and go ahead and start over again but continue to work but always keep extra brushes extra paintbrush pens extra everything always that's the number one key for me because I'm always either using up something or destroying it so always get extra two of everything is my thing all right y'all so let's continue and getting this thing done All right, so let's switch these uh, paintbrush pens out. So now, at first we used that thicker one. Now we're gonna switch off to a thin paintbrush pen just to kind of clean up those edges, clean up the lines. Um, and also it's gonna serve for our crack effect. Now the crack effect, that's kind of just to give it that rugged feel, that rugged vibe. It's kind of, you know, add an abstract art to some kind of real rugged, thuggish type vibe. You know what I mean? So we're gonna add these little cracks. Make sure you are not heavy on your hand like heavy pressure when you're doing these cracks because it's not going to give it that nice thin whip appeal to it so again gang turn those jams up listen to those vibes and keep the paint flowing
shit. Oh. Where is it? Am I sitting on it? All right, so listen, we back. <laughs> it's in your jacket pocket, brother. Oh, there we go, right here. This is live TV, ladies and gentlemen. Fucking high. <laughs> this is fucking high shit. All right. One deuce. Marketing. You got the good Southeast ratchet cake. And I said, as you put that jacket on the fucking uh, table, I said, wow, that's great marketing. First of all, where did you come up with the brand Southeast South East Ratchet Cakes? Well, of course, I uh, grew up living in Southeast my whole life. Um, the whole logo and everything, it came from some help. First of all, man, shout out Chris Camp. You know what I'm saying? Real creative type of dude. Like I said, aesthetically, man, always catches, catches me with something. But he helped me first with the logo and then the homie Kareem, um, DPI uh, Digital. He recreated it to make it more, you know, so it could go on, you know, uh, do have a logo that could go on. Uh, different products and different stuff like that. Um, from there, man, it was just me, man. Always hustled since I was young. I mean, all the way from being on suit and parkway washing windows at 10 years old, man. Just getting it. Now, is it is it a clothing brand, a edible brand, a strain of grass? What is it? Um, it's a cannabis uh, brand. I say I'm more focused on the merchandise um, and the the um, the function, the the stuff that you could use for um, more cannabis, like my rolling tray and my stash box. Which at some point I'm gonna go in and redevelop as soon as I find the right people. So if somebody out there and they see this, man, help a brother out because I'm trying to get to a certain point with my uh, products, especially the uh, the cannabis uh, stuff, the cannabis uh, products. Hell yeah. Miss Heather, how you feeling? What type of grass you smoke today? Uh, today, 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 give me a light. It, was, give me a it was the Sweeties, a light hybrid. Light light. Oh, sweet. You had some Sweeties? You told me you had that. What the fuck is the Sweeties like? You like it? Is it I do a, like uh, it. Obviously, it's a TV because that's all you smoke, right? No, 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 it's a hybrid. Oh, yeah? Um, I'd switch it back and forth. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So, what's your what's your what's your suggestive strain when getting massage? Any kind of indica. You're relaxing. If you, if you can't do a full indica, hybrid. What's your actual strain? What would you pick? I don't know. I like Royal Moby too. That's a good hybrid. Royal Moby. Yes. I haven't tried that. More heavier on what side? Indica. Indica. Favorite strain, Deuce. Favorite strain, Durban all Poison. T- all time. Durban Poison. What is it? Durban Poison. Durban I never. Poison. Oh, so how did it have you feel? What was your vibe? Uh, it's a sativa, man. I mean, it's just the, the. I think it's the profile that I enjoy more. Everywhere I go, no matter where I'm at, I travel. Always look for Durban Poison on their menu. Now, we was talking about marketing, right? What do you say? I see I see your marketing game, and it's, and it's popping. Like, I looked at all of the fucking comedians in the DMV. They're rocking your shit. That's a big look. Like, like I was looking at... <coughs> shout out to Davey Ruffin. <coughs> Holy shit. <coughs> I think that was my grass. Damn. <coughs> Maybe I choked. <coughs> Ball. But I saw Davey Ruffin um, with, the, with the Southeast Ratchet table. I was like, oh, yes. And then I seen him with some of fucking Zowers. I was like, yes. We're out here putting our brands down, man. Using that social media to put the brands down. And I'm starting to see that with you. How, how, what approach are you taking? And do you even want to dis- dispo- disclose that? Man, I just take a, a approach. Like I said, man, shout out to the, to the people that, that like kind of I met coming into this joint, you know what I'm saying? Uh, we are limitless mainly. Uh, they know who they are and the other people around who help me. But the marketing thing, like I say, man, it just come from me watching and just looking at, I learn from mistakes and lessons. So like I said, I, I, I've always hustled. 
So it was kind of like one of those things when I got around and I saw the opportunity to hustle, it was like kind of natural. And I always just try to stay at, once I realized people are uh, uh, gravitating or trying to keep up with you, I try to stay innovative. And that's that's what motivates me. Just keep keep it moving. I like that. And that's I, I I see you got the Versace feel with it, it, it on, on, on on the tour jacket on the bomb. I love it.
y'all already know what it is. It's your boy One Deuce, and I'm here with Dizzy Glitch, man. Dizzy Glitch. We here in Times Square, baby. DC's only kind of game show. Blunt facts. Okay, okay, what's happening? It's your main man Wiley, and we are back with Dank and Pain. I got my good man One Deuce in here, and we are painting that good Woo W today. So listen, we got our first coat. Let me take this shit off real quick. We got our first coat here, right? I like keep shit simple, especially when I'm doing interviews on one, because you know sometimes I like to talk. So, but I like my man got a nice, cool, small. You know what I mean? So what we're going to do is we're going to add a little darker shadows with this. We're going to add a little darker gold, color gold, if you can see. I'm going to dab right here real quick. Same brush, same brush, do same thicker brush you use. And you're just going to take it and just go right in the corners and stroke down, pause. I mean, you ain't got to go too crazy with it. Just bring it down a little bit. Just accent it, highlight it real quick. You guys at home, you're going to see this shit on the edited version. So, again, this is some fucking grass, man. <laughs> this shit got me smick act. So, real quick, blunt facts. Talk to me. First of all, tell me what it is, and I already know what it is. It's a fucking dope-ass quiz show. And give me some blunt facts. I bet I'll answer everything. Yeah, man. Uh, blunt facts. I'm the host. I'm the host of Blunt Facts, which is DC's only kind of game show. Um, I go around the city... Uh, I ask people, go around anywhere, go around the country now, uh, ask people three questions. If you can answer two out of the three questions, then I usually give you a little goodie bag or whatever. Um, actually, you was the very first contestant. Word? I was the first? On Blunt Facts. Oh, you know, wow. The DLD. I mean, you was on the first episode. I was on so the first it was episode. Two, it was two contestants on the very first episode of Blunt Word. Facts. So it had to be with you or DOD. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man, shout out to you. I don't ah. know if you lost or not, but this could be like a rematch name. I don't think I lost, though. Hey. I don't think I lost. Because all the, yeah, all, I, I think I was. <laughs> if, it's pop, if it's pop culture questions, I'm pretty much going to win that shit all of it. So, hey, with that a, said, run it. Right, run so, it. All right. Um, first <clears throat> question. Um, Cheech and Chong. You remember the movie? Um, I'm going. I know. Dave Chappelle drink. You know what I'm saying? What was Dave Chappelle joint with them? Uh, 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 God dang, dang. So half baked. The black there, yeah. Half baked, man. All right. Blood fact. Oh, I'm gonna win this. One. He's high. I'm gonna win this. Half baked. <laughs> hey, everybody missed this one. Who was teaching Chong a half baked? What was his character? It was the um the the record store dude. The record store dude. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was it the record store dude? Final answer. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, that's my final answer. Final answer. Yeah. yeah. No. Ah! What was it? Oh, I just watched that. Squirrel shit Master. Oh shit! That's right. That's <laughs> everybody, right. Everybody that's right. That's reason. right. I took an L on that one. All right. Next question. All right. Next question. Uh. You can blend. You can use the oh. napkin to blend your shit if you want to. If you don't want to go too deep, because you, I see you about to go do way colored in. Kind of flicker it, flicker it off like that, boss. There you go. All right. All right. Uh, second question. You know what uh, THC mean, right? THC I think that's the question I lost. Tetrahydrocannabinol. Spell tetrahydrocannabinol. God damn. Tetrahydro. <laughs> tetrahydrocannabinol. Okay. T R I C. H R A H Y D R O. What was the other word? Tetrahydrocannabinol. C A B. Damn. I'm, what the fuck? Uh, yeah, I'm lost. I don't know that one either. I came and <laughs> fucked up all the whole. I would have fucked up all the questions. I shot a whole dud. That's some fucking physics shit. That ain't even no fucking quiz show question. That's not even a quiz show question. That's like some. D R O C A N. 
Hey. Spell that shit again. Hold on. <laughs> This motherfucker asked me questions he don't even know. <laughs> Oh, All right, we just gonna move on to Fuck the next that question. Fuck that question. This is the tiebreaker. Oh shit. This is the tiebreaker. Oh shit. I lost two. I lost two. That no, wasn't that. Oh yeah, that yeah, one yeah. You, you did. You did lose. Yeah, I'm you did. That, that question was crazy. Come All on. Right. I was expecting a question like, uh, right, what was Fred Flintstone's name? This is a DC question. Okay, where we at? Medical. Uh, name three DC uh, cultivators who cultivate for the D.C. medical uh, cannabis dispensaries. Oh, shit, man. I lost all this shit. I don't know. <laughs> all right, I, you, I'm uh, stuck. No, you got to tell me. You got to tell me that. Uh, I, uh, three of the... Uh, you got a bait, a bacon. That's one of them. Uh... Got uh, district cannabis. They grow. Gay. Okay, that's, who we was that's what I was about to say district too. You cannabis. just you literally just said that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you got district growers. Oh, okay. Three, Shout out to them. Shout out to all them. Yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. All right, man. Give me one more last question, man. I fucked up. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me something. Let's talk about hip hop, man. We hip hop. Right, Let's talk about right, that. Uh, Real quick, quick, quick. Five. Shoot five at me, quick. Hip hop blunt facts. God dang it. I got five for you. All right, go ahead. Give me five. I got five. I got five culture. I'm going to give you the blunt facts. All right. All right. Um, what year did it? What year did Backyard's uh, 70s jam come out? Dope jam? Mm-mm-mm. 70s, 80s. Uh, mm-hmm. 70s jam. 70s jam. Yeah. Backyard. Mm-hmm. Right? You got and 1996. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to go with All right. All right. What year did DC Scorpio Hustler come out? Oh, 87? Mm, you're right. Yes, hey. it is. All right. Um, what was the name of the store that carried the Run Joe shirt? Madness. Uptown, Uptown. Uh, what did I say, five? I got two more for you. Um, what is the official name on the, le- on the lease of the Black Hole? What is the n- actual name Ooh. of the venue? I'm going to be made after this one. I know this one. Uptown, Uptown. What's the actual name of the venue oh. of the Black Hole? Don't make me two-part question to ask you how did it be get Oh, I know this. I know this. I'm going to be so mad. What was it? What was it? Please tell me because I don't know it either. <laughs> <laughs> I know I got to know this. Oh, oh shit. Okay. I forgot this shit. It's like, um, fuck, man. We Uptown, too. Somebody tell me. Somebody tell me, man. We Uptown. You don't know the name of the whole... Somebody call in and tell me the original name of um the real the real name of the black hole. I forgot. It's like uh, such and such center. I do know that. Was it Capital Center? Ha- Damn, hell no. Nah. nah, it was like such and such center. Fuck it, I forgot. All right, man. So we got about four minutes left. It's time to do some promotion, man. What we got coming up? Um, and right now, I'm just uh like I said, I'm trying to. Uh, get into developing, redeveloping some stuff within my brain, my lunchbox and my rolling tray. I really want to sit down with some people and make Y'all hear it that shit? Functional. All of these motherfucking yeah, I investors. It, I want to make it like a functional tray. Where can the investors talk to you? Stuff. Um, man, you can hit me up um, at a dank look on the city or, man, hit me up 202-256-1391. I pick up every goddamn phone call. Bill collectors, everybody, but you might get hung, hung up on. You are a better man than me, sir. Sounding right. So yeah, that shit say scam. Likely, I don't want no parts. Yeah, I, I hang up on your ass quick, <laughs> but you know what I'm saying. I pick up. I will pick up if you talk. Oh, up, shit. You never know, because I know it's a it's a lot of it's it's hard to get in touch with people. So man, like you said, like man, I'm I'm here. Any way yeah. you could get, I'm up here. Listen, vision. That's Come right. Come through and ask. Boom. They, they call the station. Hell they yeah. Ask for one deuce. Then somebody will put you in touch with me. They gonna be who? First, <laughs> say, man, Southeast Ratchet Cakes. Blood All facts. right, listen. They put you in touch with. Me. 
So we had fun today, man. We talked some good hip hop shit. We did some blunt fact shit. Got this motherfucker massage and all that good shit. Shout man, out to my good girl, good. Heather. Tranquility by Train. Heather. Go follow Quality. it. Tranquility by Heather on IG, man. Thank you. She got the THC uh, infused lotion, CBD shit. Get you right, man. Get you right. Why am I hot? See, I'm high looking at that shit because my camera angles was going backwards. I'm hot. That shit. Yeah. Yes. Okay, there we go. <laughs> and I go back to the camera. I'm <laughs> out. Close this motherfucking show out. Why don't you? All right, man. It's your man, man. Wiley, yo. We had a great time, man. Make sure you go follow me at Dank and Pain on IG. At for Dank and Pain underscore America 420 on TikTok. If you motherfuckers are not on TikTok, you're missing out. That shit is hilarious. And um, make sure you go follow 420 Fit Health and Wellness on YouTube, man. We're going to keep ourselves alive by taking care of ourselves, y'all. This is Dank and Paint. I am Wiley. This is One Deuce.